All right, so one, right now I'm currently on a random rooftop in Jamaica, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I've been here like eight times, I love it. And I had a big travel day yesterday. And the phone that I chose to bring with me on this trip is the 13 mini. So I wanna talk about my experiences traveling with it yesterday. So there might be loud noises in the back, the sun might change, but work with me here. I think I'm making a different kind of video than I usually make. So yeah, let's talk about the iPhone 13 mini and traveling with it. Let's start with the good things first though. So of course you can use the iPhone 13 mini for doing regular travel things like showing your boarding pass to security or also just having your itinerary on the go anytime you need it and doing other random things that you might need to do with the iPhone 13 mini. It's an absolute essential to have some type of documents or related to your travel with the iPhone and obviously you can do that with any iPhone. But the big benefit of doing it with the iPhone 13 mini is the fact that it's so small. So for me, especially when I'm traveling, I like to pack very light. I very rarely bring like a big luggage. I usually use a carry-on. So I like having everything a little bit smaller just because it makes it a lot easier. And this year I actually ended up getting a uh, travel uh, pack. I, it's like a it's, a, it's a fanny pack if we're being honest. Being able to fit the iPhone 13 mini in it without taking up a lot of space made it so much easier to keep my essentials together in one place and just in general if you're going through the airport you don't really want to have like a brick in your pocket or your purse or whatever you kind of want to keep it very light because it just makes it a lot easier going through airport security speaking of airport security this has nothing to do with the iPhone 13 mini but a cool story about my Apple watch so I went through airport security and for me when I go through travel security I get stopped every single time they stop me it's really hot yeah it's really hot because I have all my camera equipment which looks kind of shady if I'm being honest. I ended up losing the 13 mini at going through security. I was asking them like did you see a phone? They said no. So quick thinking I used the pinging feature and I was able to hear the iPhone 13 mini which was indeed at security. They found it and put it aside. Here's a tip if you're traveling you're definitely going to want to bring your Apple watch if you have one. It will help you find your phone if you were to lose it on vacation or back home at security. I actually sweat so much in the heat. I'm dying right now because the sun is directly on me. I'm probably gonna get sunburned, but it's worth it for you also. If you guys like it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm suffering in the sun for you guys. All right, so another great pro of traveling with the 13 mini, of course, is the camera. I'm thinking about doing a video of doing travel photography with the 13 mini or just taking pictures with it. But a big, big benefit to traveling with the 13 mini is being able to just take really nice photos. Now, I have a bunch of cameras that I ended up bringing because this is like a work and pleasure trip. I had to bring my cameras. For the most part, if something was to happen or if I like to catch a moment, then I most likely will be picking up the iPhone 13 mini because it's really small. It's just in my pocket and I don't need to go through my bags to like get out the camera. By the time you do that, the moment's gone. So having the 13 mini and being able to capture photos and videos of high crisp quality that looks very similar to a more expensive camera is a really good benefit. All right, so here is the con, and it's probably something that you are all wondering about, and that's the battery life. Now, the iPhone 13 mini has good battery life for me, generally speaking, and in most like controlled conditions. So like I work from home 100% of the time, I'm always gonna be connected to Wi-Fi, and I don't know, my battery lasts pretty long when I'm working from home, and I'm never gonna go back to the office. I've been working at home for years now, so I don't really worry too much about the battery life on this. But days when you're outside the house and traveling, that's the shortfall of traveling with the 13 mini because it doesn't necessarily last that long. So the battery did die like more than halfway through my flight, but to credit I did wake up at like three o'clock in the morning and I've been using the phone to do those things like taking a little bit of pictures showing my boarding pass and I gotta say it didn't really hold up and I'm not surprised about that I didn't expect this to last all day but if you're buying a new phone and you're constantly on the go and you want something small I don't know if it's really worth it because a dead phone no matter what is a useless phone so if I was to choose like the perfect phone to travel with I'd probably go with the 13 Pro Max just because you know that's gonna last you all day and you're gonna be able to connect to your family and friends and take photos and videos and go through the security process and the flight process without needing much more than that. All right, that is the end of this video. I'm gonna be doing a day in the life video sometime. I don't know when it's gonna drop, but I'm gonna be filming it while I'm here, a travel edition one, a day in the life in Jamaica. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe. And if you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. I need some water and I need to go to a beach. I'm gonna go do that now. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.